the sideline press. So you need something that you can push your hand into. So a wall, um, this is just kind of like a hole uh, in my basement. So whatever works, something firm, um, could even maybe be a couch that you can push your hand into. So you're gonna lie down on one side. Your arm can be, your top arm can be um, just under your head, however it's comfortable. Your knees are gonna be bent to about 90 degrees. And then you want your trunk in line with your uh, hips and legs here. So first part, your, for the first part, your hand can be on the ground, okay? And then you are going to inhale and release. Let your belly, let your core, rib cage, pelvic floor, let everything go. Um, let everything relax on your inhale. On your exhale, you're going to exhale from the bottom up. Think gently lift the pelvic floor, lower, middle, and upper abdomen draw in. You can think of tightening the area between your hip bones. Imagine there was a string trying to pull them together. And then as you press into the floor and exhale, you are going to bring your knees up to like a 90 degree angle, okay? Knees and hips up. Then this is where the wall comes in. On your exhale, are you gonna inhale again here? Inhale, let go. Exhale again, re-engage pelvic floor, lower, middle, and upper abs, pushing into the wall as you bring them back to the start position. Okay, so it's kind of two separate things. That's one repetition here once we bring the knees and hips up and back. So I'm gonna scoot up a little bit to get a little bit closer here. Okay, so I'll demonstrate a few reps here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, release. Exhale from the bottom up. Lower, middle, upper abs all drawn in tight as I press into the wall to create some more tension. And again, inhale. And that is the sideline press.